South Africa's President Jacob Zuma ruled out fee increases for universities next year following a week of nationwide protests by students that culminated in a mass gathering outside the main government offices on Friday. Universities had proposed fee hikes of up to 11.5% next year, arguing they need higher fees to keep up standards. Thousands of South African university students had converged on Friday at the country's main government complex to protest tuition increases and posing a serious challenge to Zuma. The students, some chanting and singing, gathered in throngs on a large lawn at the foot of the union buildings in South Africa's administrative capital, Pretoria, on Friday. It was the largest demonstration in more than a week of protests against tuition increases planned for next year and among the biggest since South Africa rejected white minority rule in 1994. Many students accuse the government of not doing enough to support university students and their families who are struggling to pay bills. Zuma met student leaders and university managers inside the union buildings on Friday. He and other leaders of the ruling African National Congress have said they are sympathetic to student concerns and welcome their protests, as long as they are peaceful. A police helicopter flew overhead as some students pushed and pulled on a fence preventing them from getting closer to the government offices. Stop corruption, fund students, read one student placard. Another said, Dear Mr. President, how do you sleep while the rest of us cry? Costs vary but annual tuition for undergraduate students in South Africa runs to several thousand dollars at some universities. That amount, combined with textbook and accommodation costs, is a burden for many poor students in a country with a wide gulf between the affluent and those with limited means. The protests began last week at the University of the Witwatersrand in Johannesburg, which later dropped plans for a 10.5% tuition hike in 2016 and has suspended classes until at least next week because of the disruption.